Hello. Hi, my name is John. I'll be your tutor today. What's your name? Uh, my name is Balaram. Ah, nice to meet you. How can you? How do you say that? Balaram. 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 Okay, very cool. And uh, before we get started, I just want to verify. Uh, can you hear me and see me clearly? Uh, first of all, your voice quality is uh, remarkable, and the video quality is crystal clear. Awesome. Uh, so I saw that you wanted to do introductions. So would you like to go first, or would you like me to go first? If you are giving me a honor, of course I would like to go first. Okay. As you know about my name, Balara, and uh, I am from India. Like basically. I'm doing study. My majors uh, are English literature, and um, in my free time, I love to being out in nature and uh, reading books. Uh, I'm an avid reader. That's in a nutshell about me. Yeah, yeah, very cool. What kind of books do you like to read? Um, my like three, three to four favorite genre. Like first one is a philosophy. Uh, second okay. one is a, you can say. fiction which are related to real life mm. and uh balaram how long have you been uh, speaking english uh you can say i'm learning this from my childhood and i have been speaking english for more than uh, one and a half year wow you you are, you speak very exceptional your vocabulary is very good <laughs> really i can't believe that yeah you know. no yeah you speak very good mm. um So like I said, uh my name is John. Um a little bit about me. Uh I am currently in the United States. I am an avid traveler, so I have traveled a lot around uh Asia. I have not gotten to go to India. I have a very good friend who is from India, but mm-hmm. uh I have not gotten to visit India. Um in my free time, uh I'm an artist, so I like to paint. I like to draw and I also like to play basketball to keep in shape. So um I play a lot of basketball. Okay, so right. uh, doing uh, painting is uh, your cathartic activity? Huh? Yeah, uh, like doing painting is your cathartic activity? Yeah, more more laid back and just kind of to relax and then to stay active I like to I like to play basketball, correct? Yeah. And it that sounds um, fantastic. Do you do you like to do any type of uh, athletic activity? Uh <laughs> you know uh like I like to do uh, yoga. I'm a yoga person. I mean to yoga. Mhm. And yeah. I have spent I, my more than 3 to 4 years doing calisthenics. Oh, very cool. Very mm. cool. Yeah. um and that probably came in handy during the the pandemic exactly even i'm having uh, like still now calluses in my hand like calluses uh, still cal- now calluses calluses oh very cool mhm okay and um which article did you want to look at today balaram uh, of course uh, and just give me a minute yeah no problem take your time i think i accidentally click this one <laughs> mhm i think i can uh, do that one this one uh, like uh, please give me some time to like read this one yeah no problem yeah and review be- it before that i want to know what's your favorite word my favorite word mhm you know i've been teaching on this platform for a while and no one's asked me that question before so really? while you were thinking about that i yeah i have to think about that i'm really privileged i'm really entitled to that i'm asking this one <laughs> yeah it's the first time i've heard that i saw that um this is your first lesson mm-hmm. uh what made you want to join uh ingu what made you want to join ingu cause you know i'm having a, like another platform also like cambly I'm using Cambly. So there are some te- oh. tutors who are available. Like uh, one tutor, he is available here also. So that recommend me. So oh. you can use that one. Okay. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. My favorite word um, 
is integrity. Integrity. And of high moral value. I think, uh, you know, it's not a big word anymore, but I learned that word when I was young, and it seemed like a fancy word at the time. And when it was explained to me, uh, it's something that stuck with me and that I would like to, you know, emulate. I would like to be a man of integrity, of high moral value. Um, how about you? What would you say your famous word is before we jump into the article? Of course, I would like to tell you. I'm having like a... Uh, as like two words as if you are saying this type of word i can say this type of word i surely say self-help okay uh, so if i have to tell you self-help word i would surely tell contemplation condemnation um, no 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 condemnation not not contemplation 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 <laughs> that's a big difference <laughs> 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 yeah okay contemplation cool yeah, exactly. that's a good word because uh, that yeah. word has uh, uh, taught me a lot of things uh, just because of this if i don't know this word i'm going to miss you know a lot of things i'm going to experience things uh, only for like outer like outer uh, learning outer appearance learning yeah. i yeah. don't uh, go much into but when I came, come to know this one word, you can say I'm becoming so conscious about everything what I'm learning. I'm not just learning, I'm emerging myself after now, that one word. Okay, yeah, that's very cool. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, before we jump into this article, I want to ask you, uh, for exercise one, would you like to repeat after me or would you like to read the vocabulary on your own? Uh, you know, uh, I want to do something, another one. May you please give me some time? Yeah, take your time. Mm -hmm. And before that, I'm having one question for you. You. Okay. What is okay. the best advice you ever got in your life? And would you like oh to please goodness. share with me? Okay. You are giving me the most heavy-hitting questions, Balaram. You are a great conversationalist. Uh, man, the best advice. I think, um, yeah, I'll send it to you, okay? Of course. Um, you know, you have used here a word like heavy hang, am I right? Heavy, heavy, heavy hitting. Heavy, heavy hitting. hitting questions. So, uh, you yeah, I'll write send it down that well. one expression also. Okay. What people think about. Okay, so the best advice I ever got um, was from my father, and I don't know about you, uh, but for me, I'm a little bit of an overthinker, mm -hmm. and I used to wonder, like, I wanted people to like me, and I cared what people thought about me, and he used to always tell me what, what people think about you is none of your business. Or really? that even applies to what people say about you is none of your business. There is Don't my worry friend about also. that. Uh, there is one my friend also. Uh, that one father, like that one, you can say grandmother suggest that one advice. Like what the other people saying about you, it's none of your vision. And same like you. Yes. Same like you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that, is that, is that the advice that you, you were going to share as well? Or did you have something different? Um, I'm having another one, if you want to know. Okay. I would uh, like to know. Uh, you know, there is a one ascetic person. Ascetic. Uh -huh. He, uh -huh. uh, like, uh, uh, do practice austerities in his life. Okay. And uh, that person I find uh, really, you can say, uh, you can say influential on my life. Uh, so he's not uh, speaking with anyone. He's just uh, living his in his own. You can say shell. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's you can say mm -hmm. so introvert. Like he asks questions to himself and he give answer to himself. Mm -hmm. So I ask that person. So uh, would you like to recommend me something? I'm not uh, feeling uh, empowered in my life. I'm not feeling. Uh, empowered in my life so what can I do how can I be best version of myself so that person suggests to me first of all you have to be uh, like uh, 
give up that thing like you have to become best or something else because what do you want to become you are always that person you can't become something else what you have just accept it and uh, you know uh, first of all you have to be calm your mind yeah uh yeah. like you have to be calm your mind you have to be like listen to your heart like you know uh, there are many voices coming in around uh, going in your mind that person suggest me start to do meditation every day from 5 minutes then i do uh, i have been doing meditation from that uh, you can say more than 2 uh, and a half years or 3 years wow and yeah. so he had a big impact on you indeed a spot on Uh, so nowadays i'm doing around a uh, minimum around uh, 45 minutes and sometime one and a half hour something wow one and 45 minutes sometime also wow and you can say that's very cool uh, he tell me uh, the way of peaceful warrior mm-hmm. that is one a book also yes. that one is a movie also maybe you have watched it no i have it Uh, so i would like to recommend you as you are a uh, like so ex- elated person so energetic go getter i would like to recommend <laughs> you yeah thank you so much uh, you can please check it out uh, write it down like oh, then you will surely remember please write it down the way of peaceful warrior yeah. peaceful warrior the way of peaceful warrior okay what's the first word i'm so sorry the the way of peaceful warrior okay i got peaceful warrior and the is it t h e the exactly okay mm yeah got, got it okay and uh, you know uh, that person gave me the example of that one uh, like the, the way of mm-hmm. peaceful warrior so in that you know uh, that person is doing calisthenics uh, and he is thinking all about result like uh, if i am going if i am going not to win if i will lose how can i show my face to my father he has so expectations to me so what will i do yeah mm-hmm. so you know that person that i just stay in that movie like there is a socratic person in that movie first you have to calm your mind and after that you can do anything because you know um, i would like to tell you um, you know philosophy books takes a lot of time to read uh yeah like a lot of time uh, it is all about contemplation you can't uh, like go through uh, it is not going to be uh, like best for you if you want to read philosophy so you know first i calm calm my mind you know uh, now uh, like philosophy books you can say become a uh, open book for me like i, I can understand yeah. anything in a so less time very cool Cool. Yeah, that's cool. I I love how you incorporated your favorite word into uh, you know, one of your best advice pieces and this mm-hmm. this topic that's very cool. Mm-hmm. Contemplation. <laughs> Keeping an open mind, right? Indeed. Uh so you know, now you can say the state of my mind is you can say no mind. I can be in the present moment. So you know, just pause. If I am talking to you, I am just looking in your eyes, the deep of your eyes. I'm just uh, in your words what are you talking apart from that i'm nowhere i'm just with you mm-hmm. yeah very cool that helps me a lot in my life i can say this thing yeah that's very cool um have you heard of the word uh, disavow may please write it down okay yeah of course disavow and disavow uh basically means to uh deny okay mm-hmm. what would you say to somebody that is about uh having an open mind and like considering things what would you do to persuade them to reconsider and to have an open mind in every aspect of life mm-hmm. how would you persuade them to to kind of open up uh um, what advice would you give them like those people like those, those people you mean to say are rigid Am I right? I got it right. Yeah, you're right. You said it perfectly. Uh, so I mean to say, I would like to suggest them. What do you want to know in your life? 
first you have to be completely away yourself from already biases prejudices you have to be completely away cause you know you can't never look on thing through a you can say formula through a religion uh, uh through any thought you know just let it out, go away and see situation according to the time cause uh, i can say uh, we are never teach uh, like uh, we are always teach what to do we are not teach uh, how to think if we know yeah. how to think then i can say you can handle every situation easily Sorry to interrupt, mm-hmm. but we're about 17 minutes in. So, do you want to just continue free talking, or would you like to try and uh, go into the article? What would you prefer? Uh, I would say that is not a free talk. You are so uh, like a, 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 a exceptional dude, I can say. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah. Oh, stop it. <laughs> uh, so, you know, um, I would like to uh, like go on the, through this. Uh, Uh, like this article okay sweet mm-hmm. and would you like would you like to uh go over the vocabulary first no no you know what we do like you can ask me one question and after that i will uh, give you answer and after that i will uh, i ask you one question okay yeah let's do it um did you want to go so for the article the exercise 3 is that correct indeed indeed Okay. Okay, okay. So, what are your thoughts on the use of AI to recreate the night watch? You know, I can say this is a really cutting edge, like cutting edge thing to help uh, yeah. to build this, you can say epic masterpiece. Yeah. Masterpiece. Yeah. Like, you know, uh, due to some reason, these paintings are like no comparison. And you know, s- sometimes they convey the future message like sometime you can say you know if you find like a 17th century or 18th century painting maybe you know there are some chances that can be related to like now present time maybe that can convey so in this way yeah. we can learn so many things cause uh, 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 like painter think outside of the box yeah that's so amazing huh mm-hmm. technology has advanced us so much Mhm so i really like it and that is going to help us like uh, to create like new artisans to know much more about painting things skills amazing fantabulous yeah magnificent yeah that is so cool balaram i'm so impressed with your vocabulary your vocabulary is very good <laughs> oh i'm really glad to hear that i'm so ecstatic <laughs> so All right, now you're going to lay a question on me. Give me a good one. How about we we don't have to do 1 2 3 4 5. You can just ask whichever one you'd prefer. Of course. Uh, so just see. Okay. Yeah, that one. Who's the most talented artist? Versatile artist, you know. Who's the most talented artist you know? That's a tough one. Um, I actually, I personally know uh, many talented artists. Um, a close friend of mine is a is a sculptor, and he's amazing. Some of his sculpt sculptures are very amazing. Uh, they're so intricate. Do you know the word intricate? Intricate. Yeah, intricate, like very small detail. So may you please write detail. it down. Yeah, I'll write it down for you. Uh, intricate, but his work is so intricate. Um, and maybe uh, do you know the word uh, tedious? Intricate. May you please write it that that one, please. Yeah. uh so um 
Okay, and tedious is like uh, attention to detail. So he'll have like a tiny little uh, tool and he will take the marble and he will peck at one small area. It is very small and he has to pay so much focus and attention to just one small thing. I would lose my patience. I think I'm not patient enough. Mm -hmm. But he is so calm and he just pays so much attention to one spot. And every time he has done it, it's so stunning. Um, uh, you mean to so say, say him, you mean to say, and that person do his work meticulously. Yeah, that's tedious is a synonym for meticulous. Indeed. Yeah, very good. So yeah, he's very meticulous with his work, and he 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 is just he's one of a kind. Another friend of mine is a spray paint artist. I'm sure you've seen some of those trending videos on like the social media. But May you please very, write it down? That one person. Yeah, spray, spray paint. Oh, the, the, the name of the person? Mm -hmm, indeed. Okay. Uh, Spencer Johnson. He might come up on Google if you look him up. Of course, um, maybe I think so. I heard about. Okay, very cool. Yeah. Uh, all right. Number, I want, here, I want to ask you this one. This one's good. Of course. What is the most impressive piece of art you've ever seen in person? What is the most impressive piece of art you have seen in person? You can say art uh, created by human or art you can say created by nature or like uh, what do you want to know then I will tell you what. You know what? I think it would be cool if you gave me both. One of each. One of each. So one of the you can say uh, super Man -made and then something of nature. Of course, you know, uh, I'm a quite into micro photography of nature. Mm -hmm. So, you know, once upon a time, uh, I see, I capture a shot of, or uh, like shot of, uh, you can say, snail. Mm -hmm. And you know, that snail, you can say, uh, production in backside, uh, like a glitter. Glitter. And, and you can say, Sand also has glitter. Sand. Yeah. yeah. You know that makes a uh, like a you can say spectacular, uh, uh, ethereal beauty. Ethereal beauty for me. You can say ethereal yeah. beauty. Yeah, that is so cool. Mhm. Mm exactly. Yeah, there's there's beauty in everything. You just have to look close enough. Exactly. And you know one thing I would like to tell you. I'm little bit uh, feeling blue. To tell you, but I would like to tell you. Uh, okay. uh, you know, there is a one, you can say, small, like a tiny car. Uh, you can say, when I was around six or seven years old. So I lost that car, uh, like, uh, and I am feeling I am missing that car again and again. So that is, uh, you can say, art piece for me. Amazing. Wow. You know? Yeah. The car has uh, some type of you know metal like metal metal tire something like you can say roll tire like you can say do you know about a uh, road roller road roller yeah so yeah, yeah, yeah. so so the type of uh, like they use in road roller road roller so the same thing in that so these are like two tire in that and I find it really fascinating till now if someone give me uh, like uh, I, uh, it is beyond my money. Like uh, I'm really missing that one thing. Yeah, yeah. It has uh, sentimental value. Indeed. You know that. Indeed. Okay, sentimental value. That makes Very a lot of sense. sense. Okay, Balaram. It looks like we are out of time. Uh, I enjoyed talking to you so much. You were so uh, refreshing to talk to. Uh, I'm very impressed with your vocabulary. It's so great to have you on uh, this platform. I hope we can speak again. Of course, uh, and uh, I would like to give you feedback now, because uh, uh, as you tell me, like we are going to be cut off automatically. Uh, uh -huh. uh, I, you know, I would like to tell you, you are such an upbeat person. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, you are, appreciate that. are go-getter, affable, gregarious. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, you are down to earth. Yeah. 
I'm gonna write this down and I'm gonna I'm gonna show my mom that you told me this. You are salt of the earth. <laughs> you are salt of the earth. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate that, Balram. I can say the same about you. I really enjoyed getting to know you. And uh, you know, one of the best thing about uh, you are, I find you really engaging. Really? That's and awesome. That's engaging. Because you know, I don't uh, feel like I'm taking classes. I'm uh, feeling like. Uh, you are just like my age and uh, my friend and uh, we are like English body and we are enjoying like uh, English culture. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, Balram, be, uh, before we get cut off, uh, thank you so much for your feedback. I don't hear it a lot and I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. <laughs> of course, you have made my day right. really. I have never expected <laughs> to get this type of lesson but you are beyond my expectation. That's why you are exceptional. <laughs> That's why you are ex- ex- exceptional. That is the thing. Fact. Yeah. That thank is you fact. so much, Bara. That is a fact. <laughs> have a great day. Well, have a wonderful day with fall of blossoms. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. See you later. Of course. Indeed, sport. <laughs>